And welcome to Ben's Junk, the show that sounds dirty and kind of is, just not in the way that you'd expect. Today we're going to take a look at my ultra, ultra rare RCA Select Division CED home recorder. Don't you wish? No, it's really my RCA VHS camcorder. Here's the case, nothing special. I picked this up at a Goodwill a few months ago, and those that watch Archive regularly uh, have seen this in Tour of the Archive, and no, not in Tour of the Archive, what was it? It was in um, Y2K and Going Analog. So, it's uh, missing one of the latches, so I kind of have to just force it together when I keep it in storage. But uh, that's my box for my Betamax rewinder in the back, back there. Not really that big of a deal to open. And of course it's upside down, so through the magic of editing we'll take a better look at this thing. And here it is, this is the main camcorder, and it's just a standard VHS camcorder, so you just stick in a plain old VHS tape in there, and I have a, a pretty big back stock of them lying around here. Uh, when I got it, the microphone on the front was rotting off and so I had to do an, uh, a homemade fix. I took an old pair of Walkman headphones, took off one of the foam pieces on the ear and strapped it on with a rubber band. It was the best I could do. And then I also had to buy a lithium battery for it for the clock. And so by the time all was said and done, I think I uh, put about $20 into this thing. And it's not exactly the most intuitive thing in the world. So I'll have to just bring this up closer. The It has a rolling shutter on it, and you can set a time lapse. It, it has some nice toys on it, but they're, like I said, they're not really intuitive. You kind of have to sit there uh, with the manual. I had to actually go online and download the manual because even though this thing was mostly complete, it, uh, it, it, it wasn't exactly self-explanatory. So you've got uh, an iris which is barely effective you've got the fade button which i made pretty extensive use of and then you can set the clock and everything the focusing is not very good it's pretty limited in scope uh, you know it looks a lot nicer than it really is and you can move it around all sorts of ways but when it comes right down to it you've got a fairly uh short focus. That's really the best way I can describe this thing. So you probably want to take a look at some of the accessories and stuff, huh? Well, here's the battery. And let's see if I can get this thing in here. If I even remember. There's an arrow on it somewhere. I think I've got this right. And it kind of just locks in and then it sets down. I may have this upside down. Oh, no. There it is. Uh, I don't have the battery charged at the moment. Uh, but here's a nice part of this thing. You can also run it from the wall and charge your battery at the same time. All at once. Isn't that nice? Can't do that with a whole lot of uh, modern camcorders. But this is how I normally work it. So I'll have this plugged into it and just plugged into the wall and uh, that'll be about the extent of it the lens cap came off and then to release it just a little switch nothing big and it's got a nice very very 80s rainbow strap which I've never used and probably never will then I've got the stuff to plug it into the TV and so it's kinda of this um, almost serial port like thing on one end and then let's see if I can get up to the other end it's only mono so this is all I've got to work with and so when you hear the linear stereo on this thing when I have used it on archive it's because I'm taking the footage from my forehead hi-fi stereo VCR and so that's how you're getting full stereo but if you want to monitor through a TV with the camcorder in use, you have to use this thing. 
And here we are, we're plugged in and I'm on a very, very short leash. So between that and the tight shot here, this might not be a very good segment. But uh, it does have some intuitive features. It's just the more advanced stuff that's kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, you got the zoom, you got the record button hidden down in there and uh, you can control it all nice and easy. And if I turn it around here, you can see the basic controls here. So let's uh, turn the sucker on, the big red button. And you can be in camera mode or playback mode. And all the usual stuff, uh, although this is for dubbing, and I don't have uh, the cable to dub into this. And I can't say I'm really seeking one. I think I have better methods of doing it than this uh, cruddy old late 80s mono thing. So here's the tracking, which mm, kind of sort of works. Um, you've probably seen that in the Y2K episode. And so, open her up, see if I can, uh, get that. Yeah, there is a, a date and stuff in there, but it's really hard to see. And let's see if I can't open this up, eject. And it just so happens that I have the very tape that I filmed the Y2K episode with handy. So let's pop it in. And we're not going to get any sound. Hell, you might not even get any picture either. So let's see here. Play. This should be in the middle of a take somewhere. Yeah, there's something in there. Uh, of course, there's no sound. So just out of convenience, I brought headphones. And let me hold this up to the microphone. So, yeah, you get to hear me moan and stuff. So, there you go. The big nasty VHS camcorder. Okay, well, if you're not going to open, at least give me my can opener back. Come on. Come on. Ow! Shh.